Hey everybody, how's it going? We're playing some more Pal World. Today we will be defeating Blazamut Rio with all normal settings. You can see here the difficulty I'm setting to normal. We do not have any form of buffs, no attack, nothing. So, last video, you guys saw that we prepared for this fight with a bunch of new techniques. Things like getting both attack pendants with the extra equipment slot, riding as a robe, having buff gob fins, eating the right food, uh, getting perfect level 55 Jormantides, perfect level 55 Anubises, uh, drinking the memory wiping potion to increase our attack, and I feel like so many other things that we had to do to prepare for this fight to do it solo. Remember, solo. Um, and with all normal settings, but I'm excited and I think we could do it pretty easily. With the amount of buffs and chances I give, I gave myself, there's no way we can't do this. So, as you can see here, we are also in a location that was recommended to me that's near the Pen King boss. I don't think it's crazy important, but that's where I decided to be. So, let's go ahead and eat the pasta, eat the burger. Um, let's feed our godfins, even though I technically don't really need to. Um, again, we have both attack pendants, and we'll be riding an Azerobe to apply water damage to our attacks. Alright, let's put the slab in. Summon it, we'll have to get on top of our Azerobe right away. We're gonna go ahead and start off with the Legendary Rocket Launcher. The Jormantides, they're great, they're strong, and they're the best pal for this, but they all, they're also gigantic and they love getting in the way. So, the rocket launcher is going to be great because I can kind of just shoot in the general direction and I know for a fact that it's going to hit. The multi-guided missile launcher is going to be a little better in the second uh, phase when we're pulling out our perfect Anubises. And they're not as big, that's when I can use the guided missile launcher. But, as we can see here, I'm shooting him in the face and we're doing just about the same damage that we did with the when I had my attack increase. But... We're doing the same amount of damage on normal difficulty, which is super, super nice. So yeah, we're hitting them in the face for a good, like, 8, 9, 10,000 each time. Now, I know that's going to get smaller and smaller over time, but this is good news. We're about a minute in, and we already took over 100,000 of his life. Uh, a lot of this because of the Jormantides, which is super nice. So, oh, see, that was a solid crit right there. It's super important. Like I said, to get these German tides, especially to level 55, and especially with things like Ferocious, Serenity, uh, Legend, uh, Lord of the Sea, uh, whatever else increases your attack, those things are very, very important. Ride the Azerobe. Try to avoid the fireballs if possible. Also, Gobfins, and make sure you have extra of everything. So obviously, you're going to want at least like a minimum of three different Jormantide armies. As you can see here, I replaced my Azerobe to the second one. And I'm also going to be replacing my Jormantides. You're going to want to be doing this throughout the fight. It's very important. The time limit is terrible, right? You only have 10 minutes. But even more terrible is if you don't have pals out on the field, for some reason, the Blasimut will attack your pal box. And if your pal box breaks, you lose the raid. So it's important to always have pals out. Make sure the Blasmut has something to hit that isn't the pal box. Yeah, I can't understand the importance of that because if you guys watched my first couple fights, that's kind of what happened. Is I was like, yeah, I can just attack it by my own and just run around it. But no, I, I lost every single time. So it's super important. All right. Yeah, this fight is going much better than expected. It is more than halfway done, and we're still over seven minutes of time. I, I don't want to prematurely say this, but we are pretty much coasting with the amount of damage that I'm doing. I think we're coasting. My main problem right now is if I run out of Jormantides, my progression is going to slow. But I think I have a second team ready. That will basically carry me up until the next phase, and then once I'm into the next phase, I'll be using Anubises anyway, right? So I think... Okay, dude. That's unlucky. If I can see them, like the raid people, I'll have to try to destroy them as quick as possible if they're clumped. 
But we have to focus on the raid. Okay, see? Oh, look, they're all on a hill, and they're all clumped. So you know what? Let me go ahead and shoot. Just end the raid instantly. So we lost, like, 8,000 damage right there, and I just gave 8,000 damage to that hillside right there, that cliff, but it's okay. Let's keep shooting. We have still six minutes, 150,000 HP left. And there goes my Azerobe. Once again, stay strapped. Make sure you have extra Azerobes like I do, because if you don't, you're going to regret it. Let's pull out the third ride. While we're in the PAL box, let's go ahead and take out the incapacitated Jormantide. Sadly, uh, I'm out of Jormantide, so uh, for the sake of just getting something on the field, let's go ahead and get the Jet Ragons out. So, uh, noted, when I try the Legendary fight, I will need more Jormantides, because I ran out. But I don't think it's going to be a problem for us. It's almost into the second phase and we still have five minutes. So we'll be fine. But that is good to know. I will need even more. The amount that I had was not enough. Almost enough. But almost enough is uh, not a good, you know, not a good thing to live on, right? Om being almost good enough is not good enough in my opinion. Okay. 80,000 five minutes like I said I don't care if things die at this point because I'm gonna be pulling out my Anubises in a minute I just need to get this thing to its stupid second phase please definitely this is I'm wasting a lot of time fighting it by myself just trying to get it to the second phase but man it's close it's close so I I, I can't worry about it too much there it goes. Okay, second phase. Oh, and of course, this tur it's going into the second phase right on top of the PAL box, which is slightly annoying. But it's okay. We have four minutes. As long as I don't die here, which I shouldn't because I have decent armor on and plenty of HP. So, yeah, let's go ahead and bring out Anubises. I accidentally didn't separate them based on my worker Anubises and my fighting Anubises. Uh, but it's fine. All of them should do the same thing. They're all pretty strong. They're all level 55. So, it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, 160,000 HP with 4 minutes. This really shouldn't be a problem. You never know. But I'm starting to think this fight will actually be a better fight than the one I did before. If you guys remember, I think two videos ago now, we ended up defeating the Blazamut with, like, I think two or three seconds remaining. Meanwhile, I'm expecting this one for us to be done in the next probably two minutes. So we'll even have a minute to spare. Let's go ahead and bring out some extra Anubises again. Have them keep fighting. Now saying this, I am very happy with this fight, but we have a lot of work to do. Oh, look at all those Anubises. And now that we have the privilege of having the small Anubises on the field without the German Tides blocking us, we can officially use the multi-guided missile launcher too, which is nice. I could have probably used the, the, guided miss the four guided missile launcher in the first phase too, but... For the sake of my own comfort, we're just going to go ahead and use it now. But what I was saying is, I'm very happy with this fight. But this is nothing compared to the legendary fight. That one is going to have near a million HP. And the fact that we're defeating this one without a, with about a minute or two to spare is not good as far as the next fight. Because it's double, essentially. So... I know I am not ready for the next fight because I would need to finish it in about five minutes, right? So, anyway, for the next fight, we'll think about later. That one's a hard one. You know, we should be proud and happy for what we accomplished on this day. In about two seconds, the boss will be done with about around two minutes to spare. So, I feel like this was a really good showing. We could even finish it off with a couple of quick switches. And boss eliminated. There we go. Shout out, Graham. Shout out the rest of the comments. All of you guys giving me all those tips was very useful. Again, you guys saw everything that I did for this video. If you've got even more tips for the Ultra fight, please let me know. If there's things that I can do even better on top of this. Some of them I do know. The Jormantides, I will need more. I will need to replace their attacks to make sure that every Jormantide needs water attacks. I know I need to do that. 
I need to probably get slightly better Anubises for that second phase. And I will need to farm the oil rig just a little longer. Maybe try to get a better version of the guided multi-missile launcher. If I can get a better version of this, that would be nice. Maybe even a legendary version of some of this armor. If there's absolutely anything you guys can think of to further improve my damage, uh, please tell me. I would love to hear it. But we made great strides today. Yeah. Please let me know what else you guys think. But it's done. The first one's done. On normal difficulty, which is the most important part.